Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do a query and analysis on data that comes from more than one MongoDB collection. Um, so in effect doing a join between two collections. Um, so the first thing I'll do is I'll log into the JSON Studio application. And I have two collections that will be relevant here. Uh, the first one is the projects collection. Um, and what this collection has is a bunch of documents. Each document describes a project that is being funded by the World Bank. So for example, the first one here is a project funded in Ethiopia for this amount. Um, and the second relevant collection is one that I have over here called the DP1. And what DP1 has is GDP data for um, each country. So for example, suppose that I want to uh, look at the relationship between how much money is being spent in each country versus the GDP. Maybe my theory is that the lower the GDP, uh, the more money that the World Bank pumps into that country. The problem is that right now with the way I have my collection structure, I have no way to do this because the GDP data is not inside the project data and vice versa. And, and MongoDB doesn't have joins, therefore what I would normally have to do is write code. I would have to write a program that does this. Um, but in JSON Studio, I can make uh, ad hoc queries plus I can make ad hoc joins. Um, in order to really do this analysis that I want to do. So let's get started. Um, so the, the pattern that I need to abide by if I want to do analysis and queries on MongoDB collections is I need to embed the data uh, from one collection into the other collection. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll embed uh, the GDP data inside the project data. Um, so the way I do this is first I need to make a simple query on the uh, uh, GDP data. So I'll pick the uh, GDP data. Um, and what I'll do is I'll pull out the GDP data for 2005 per country. So uh, you know my, my, uh, my matching criteria is going to be the country name. So for example, if I do a query, if I double click on Aruba, then you can see I got the results set for Aruba. Um, and since I only want uh, the 2005 data, then I will Alt double click on 2005 and add a projection. So this will be my uh, subquery, if you will. Uh, but I don't want to run it every time on Aruba. I want to run it every time on the country in the projects collection. So I will parameterize this and I'll write it as country. Okay, so this looks uh, right to me. Uh, so I'll go ahead and save this query and let's call it uh, query one. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to go to my other uh, collection. So I will pick the projects collection and look at it. Um, and what I have here is all kinds of uh, data about the project for each country. And what I really would like to have is another field inside here, which will have the GDP data. Okay, so what I will do is I will uh, click, you see the join radio? I'll, I'll click join, and the join field for me is going to be the country short name. So I will uh, alt double click on country short name. And then um, it gives me a bunch of, uh, it gives me a template which I need to fill in. So uh, say that my join field name will be uh, GDP, GDP. The collection from which I'm extracting the data is going to be DP1. And the saved query name which I used was query1. And the bind variable that I used was called country, right? Yeah. And so I think I'm done. Um, now, what it gives me is the data without the GDP here at the bottom because the, I, I'll have to go through the gateway to actually perform the join. So I will save it as query2. Save the query as query2. 
And now in order to invoke the, um, the, the, the actual join and test it, I'll use the gateway. So I will, so the collection that I'm doing is, is project, that's correct. And the name is called query2. So I'll type that here. And let's see if the rest is fine. I want to find, I want to pretty print it. Yeah, okay, so let me uh, run it. And now what I get is I get a collection or I get a, a, a result set. And if you look at it, all of this section is what came from the project collection. But you see each document now includes some GDP data. And that's exactly what I wanted, right? I have the 2005 data for each country in the collection. But this is a, a result set. So now let me save it as a new collection. So say that I will... I'll add another parameter to the gateway and I'll call it output equals collection dot analysis one. Analysis one. There we go. And I'll run it and it says inserted project, uh, inserted objects. So now let me go back to my uh, studio and I called it analysis one, so it should be somewhere here. Here it is. And then we look at this collection, that's exactly the collection that I wanted, right? Each document now has the project data plus the GDP data. So I have done my join and I've created a new collection in my MongoDB database. And now I can go and do analysis on it. So now I'll go to the next application in the system, which is the slice and dice application. And what I want to do is... Uh, pick my collection, so in this case it's analysis one, and I'll create a new pipeline, right? And the pipeline, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group things because perhaps I have more than one project being funded within each country. So I'll group it by the country name, okay? I'll add a count because I wanna know how many projects I will um, summarize the total amount of money spent. So I'll do a sum on total amount. So double click the total amount. And then I also need the GDP data, but the GDP data, since it's static reference data, uh, even though it, it exists in every project, it'll be the same. So it actually doesn't matter if I use a min, max, or an average, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just click the average and double click on the 2005 GDP data. And so let me run this pipeline or this aggregation. Okay, so on the right hand side I have my result. I have uh, Costa Rica has uh, this amount of money spent and this is the GDP data. And I'll add another uh, stage which will be a filter stage. I just want to filter out everything that does not exist. So, you know, maybe some of these documents uh, didn't have one of these data. So if it doesn't have a GDP data, and if it doesn't have, or if it doesn't have a sum amount, then I just want to filter it out. Okay, so I'll run it. And now I get my result. And what I now can do is I can go ahead and visualize it. So I'll go to the next application, which is the visualizer, and I'll create a scatter plot. And I will drag the x value will be uh, my, uh, say, the, the amount of money spent. And the y value will be the GDP data. And the bubble size, oh, yeah, and the bubble size will be uh, the count, how many projects are funded. And uh, the country name will be both my group and my, and my name. Okay, so let me look at the graph that I got. So this is a scatter plot. Each point on it represents a certain country. So if I click on this, this is China. So I see the GDP per capita and the amount of money spent by the World Bank. And I'm no data scientist, so I don't know exactly what I'm seeing here. But I do see something, I think I see something uh, pretty clear, which is... Um, with the lower GDP countries, there are more projects, right? Because the size of the bubble represents the number of projects funded 
and also I see more money. So, so I do see some correlation. I see that you know the the place where more projects and more money is being spent is generally where the the GDP is lower, which is not that surprising. So, thanks for viewing this video. This was a simple. Uh, a demo of JSON Studio doing pretty sophisticated things over MongoDB data, including ad hoc joins and analysis. Uh, visit us at jsonstudio.com and thank you.